Good morning children. I am Preeti Kumar. Welcome to the online computer class. Today I am going to continue the chapter 4 ethics and safety measures in computing. In this chapter children we have done introduction to internet, advantages and disadvantages of internet, computing ethics. Today I am going to continue the chapter topic unethical practices. In unethical practices also we have covered paludism, cyberbullying, phishing, hacking, spamming. Today we are going to continue with the topic individual rights to privacy. So what is individual right to privacy? In this digital era there has been a significant increase in the use of technology. As the technology is progressing so are the privacy parameters demising. Internet is commonly used for various purposes such as for personal communication, accessing information on any topic and for financial transactions etc. The use of internet can affect the privacy rights and personal data of a group person. Privacy is one of the major concerns in one's life. The right to privacy may be defined as claim of individuals, groups, institutions to determine when and to what extent the information about them could be communicated to others. So certain preventive measures should be taken to avoid infringement of privacy. Steps to protect privacy. Be careful while sharing your personal profile on the social networking sites. Never share your logging details with anyone. Delete the sensitive data when not in use. Never click on links sent to you via text or email from the from a stranger. Protect your online privacy by disabling the cookies in the web browsing browser being used. Cookies is a small text file stored on your computers browser directory that collect the information of your online activity and reports back to the host. Install security software like antivirus, firewall software etc. to protect your system against intrusions and infections. Lock up your system when not in use. Software Piracy When software is copied and distributed illegally, it is called software piracy. A license or copyright is required to copy the genuine programs of someone else. You encourage software piracy when you purchase a single licensed copy of the software and load it onto several computers contrary to license to the license terms. It is called soft lifting. You make an unauthorized copies of the copyrighted software and distribute them. You install unauthorized copies of software on the hard disk of personal computers. You make an unauthorized and unauthorized copies of software for temporary use or sell or buy the software CDs or on rent. Steps to prevent software piracy. Buy licensed copy of software. The terms and condition of license for each software product you purchase. Never make copies and circulate them. Purchase software CDs from reputed seller and ensure that it is genuine. Avoid using illegal CDs given by your friends to listen your favorites, music and watch movies. If software is available online, download it directly from your manufacturer's website. Register your software to avoid soft lifting. Now, the another topic is intellectual property rights. Intellectual property is a term that refers referring to the legal property rights of person 
over his or her creations of mind artistic and commercial under intellectual property law owners are granted certain exclusive rights over the use of his or her creations such as musical literary and artistic works for a certain period of time steps to protect intellectual property rights patent your inventions a patent is a right relating to the new inventions that grants the investors the sole right to make use and sell that inventions for a specific period of time copyright your art and publications a copyright is a legal right granted by law to creator for his original work the right provided under copyright law prohibits other to create a copy for work transaction of the work and distribution of the work to the public register your trademark this protects your brand names logos packaging and other distinctive designs that identify and distinguish the product one of one manufacturer or seller from that of others the validity period for a trademark is 10 years and can be renewed cyber crime a cyber crime is any illegal activity done through internet example identity theft where is somebody can steal your email id or password and use it to send fake emails to people containing false information about the product or winning lottery cyber crime can be divided into three main categories crime against an individual person crime against property crime against an organization or society 